I'm Dan from Mistral Baits and you join me halfway through my session with this lovely little banger. Luke's just come down, we're doing some filming for Mistral Baits today. I'm going to talk you through the tactics, bait I'm using, bait I also used in Belgium to catch a few bangers and away we go. So I'll just talk to you a little bit about why we chose this venue today. Um, I was actually due to fish another venue, uh, but when I did a little wreck yesterday afternoon, the fish were all in the reeds, and even though they weren't fully spawning, I felt we had a better chance down here of catching a fish. So this is my local syndicate that I've been a member of for three years. There's some lovely old gnarly fish in here, and that's why I became a member. Some really nice scaly ones, some pristine commons, and some zigzaggy strange ones as well. So a good mixed bag. I've had, a, I've had a, yeah, reasonable results over the last three years. Um, I can't complain. I've only had three fish under 20 pounds. The big one still does elude me at 32, but you never know, could be on the cards today, who knows? But yeah, I've put the work in over the three years to try uh, to get the most out of it, but it is a difficult venue. It's about 18 foot flat deep. It's an old irrigation pool. There's not a lot of cover. Um, there's only about 50 carp in here, so it's not easy. I generally, rule of thumb is 24 hours, I'm hoping for one bite. So uh, I got down last night, set myself up, and luckily enough, early this morning, I had a bite. So that's kind of job done, but I haven't given up yet. I've got a snide rod down there, and I've seen a couple of fish further down, so I think I'm gonna move that, put it on the cabbages close to where I've seen them, and hopefully we can nick another bite for the camera. So far, I'm quite happy with the way the session is going, and fingers crossed, there might be more on the cards. So this is my sneaky third rod we were talking about earlier. I've just gone up the tree, and I've seen a couple of carp just patrolling in and out there, slightly shallower than this. This is at about six foot. They look like they're more comfortable in kind of three or four foot. I'm gonna get this rod sorted, move it over there. Hopefully, we'll get a bite. So I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the bait I'm using today. It's a very similar mix to what I was using in Belgium a couple of weeks ago, which caught me some carp. So the way I've based that is basically anywhere that's fed bread, a white bait does work well. So I've chosen the Rosehip Natural. And I've crumbed that to death. Also in there, I've got a little bit of sweet corn, a few 10 mil Belacam shrimp, and a few eight mil and four mil Belacam shrimp pellets, just to keep them grubbing around and get really stuck into that. And what I've done with that is just knocked up a tiny mesh bag. I don't want to feed them too much. They are on the edge of spawning. If it was two weeks ago, I would have had each rod over about a kilo, kilo and a half of bait. I haven't gone with that this time and it's already got me a bite. So it's obviously doing the job. Small mesh bag of that. And on top of that, I've got the natural white pop-up on a Ronnie, just sat nicely. It is quite silty out there. That's why I've got a supple boom as well, so nothing's sinking too far into the silt. And that's the one that's done me the bite. I've got exactly the same on the second rod. The only thing I've done there is I've got a Belacan shrimp pink pop-up. So same, but with that. And on the mesh bag, I've just got Belacan shrimp 10 mil boilies and Belacan shrimp pellet. On my third little snide rod, I've gone for this hard salted hookers. At this time of year, the carp need sodium. There's very few things that they eat that give them that. So a little bit of Himalayan salt is a bonus and really gets them going. So a hard hooker, and that's with the same mesh bag there with a little sprinkle of pellet over the top because they do like a spread of bait here, but I don't want too much out there. So that's what I've gone with on my three rods. Hopefully there's more bites on the card, but it's done me one already. So obviously doing the job. Just seen some fish shooting across the top of these cabbages here. They seem to look like they'd be much more up for a floater than a bottom bait. So stick a bit of bread on, sit it off the edge of these cabbages. Hopefully one of them will take it.
One thing I have to do on this venue, due to it being 18 foot deep flat pretty much, most of the time I'm fishing in about 10 foot of water. Now today I'm actually using crumb, so that will float up through the layers and draw the fish down, but a lot of the time I'm using liquids. Now in the winter I use smaller amounts, as it gets to the summer I use a bit more so it floats around the water columns and draws those fish down as they're normally a bit higher up in the water. Another thing I use on my hook baits is the power spray. On every hook bait I use, I put the power spray on. It just gives it that extra scent. It's the same as using a ping pop-up because you want that extra color. It just gives it an extra bit more than the bait you're actually feeding it. I put it in PVA bags. I cover my mesh bags in it. I make mixes up with water and boilies with the liquid in as well, so it soaks it all up. All of those things just help attract the fish in this kind of venue where it's really deep and you're trying to pull them down to your bottom bait. So I'm going to persevere with the floating because they look like they're on the top. The pack of five fish that I did see cruising around have seemed to have done one, but we're hopefully they'll come back and I'll have a piece of bread in the right place at the right time. So just to wrap up this session, I've caught a fish. That was the main thing we came for. The bait and the approach has worked perfectly well. The one fish in 24 hours is what generally this venue does, so I can't complain. Not the biggest fish, but a pretty one, so I'm happy with that. Lou's going to head off shortly. I'm going to continue to fish for a couple of hours. Hopefully there'll be another one. I'll get a bit of video footage and we'll add it to the feature. But for now, it's game on. <laughs>